size, look, to get it in perspective, that's the size of the brick. <laughs> Come on, slow coach. Bringing up the rear. There's the tour. Sadly, it's not in English, so we can't tag along. It's a beautiful gorge at the back here. And there are the two gods, Pinkius and Perkius. <laughs> I'm filming it, Tony. We're going adventurising down to Wookie Hole. Somebody put the torch on the camera, on the phone. Torch on. Torch on. Right to the bottom. Come on. Come on. There's no point in adventurising if you can't, can't go to the bottom. It's a bit, a bit slippy. There's a lot of nothing you can't see. Come on. It's like a big cave that goes underneath. Where? Let me, oh, somebody's definitely been down here and had a pee. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a tunnel. Turn that off, right? There they are. Biggie Murphy, the golden child. The golden child. I want the knife. Give me the knife. Hi oh guys, we're in my city. My city. My city. We are adventurizing to its fullest today and we are currently at Eniloco's Pyramid. This is what is left. It's a 4th century BC pyramid. We presume built for Eniloco. We don't know. This is our park for night. We're staying here for the night in the grounds of the chapel, monastery I should say church there we're gonna head into the wind while Julie and I oh look at those crocuses how lovely is that mm. now we had a bet before we get here how high would the pyramid be and somebody bet 25 feet <laughs> and I think they've won I'm oh we in. can go in I'm excited the mysteries let's go adventurizing Julie Oh, let's do it. We'll just watch for snakes. They love, they love this kind of <laughs> snakes. Oh yes. Well, we've been inside the Great Pyramid of Eniloco with its arched roof and big slabs. And here is the Mediterranean. So we've driven across from Mycenae today, right away across the country, and we're now on the other side at Calo Nero Bay. 
lovely bay, quite full up with other campers. They were nearly all German, um, just down by the restaurants. But we've just come up a little bit further and we've managed to get a little spot on our own just here. And this is the turtle beach. This is all protected. You can't go here and shine a light at night, that kind of thing, because the turtles nest. But I'm pretty certain we're out of season. But here is Calo Nero. So we might stay a day or two and enjoy the weather and the beach. We've just discovered this on the beach. We've got no idea what that is. Anybody good with skulls? Looks like the tiniest cow. We don't know. Answers below, thank you. And look here, fresh water stream running into the sea. Winding its way. Is this mountain water? Let's feel it and find out. Here we go. It's pretty cold. <laughs> I think it might be. It's not unbearable, not by long shot. All the reeds have washed down, obviously, in the spring. So we're cursing through from the mountains. Oh! Julie's learned how to play the reed pipes. <laughs> Come on, Julie, or an open flow or something. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. I play the pipes. I'm really good. We play the pipes. It's understood. <laughs> Discovered it's a big hole. Julie spotted it. And in the bottom are eggs. They could be bird's eggs. Something could have made a bird's nest here. Or it could be a turtle nest that's been rubbished, we don't know. So we've just found a used turtle shell, so that's really cool. Looks like we're not going to be watching any little turtles hatch or any turtles lay, but it's really great to see where they come and the poor sods do have to drag themselves over that stone and shingle to get up here. So really close July. to where we're parked, 3rd of July 2022, this one. Poor so and so is having to get around this bamboo though. I am cleaner. So Julie, um, what can you tell us about these bags this, of rubbish? This here, plus three other bags that aren't there, are what we've just picked up off of that beach. And it's taken us probably about an hour, hour and a half. Two, two hours. hours. I am exhausted. Yeah, sweaty. Oh, very proud of myself. Me too. We've picked this all up from the ne turtle nesting area, so we're feeling look, quite look at this. justified. What, what stuff is in it's there? It's mostly yeah. plastic bottles, plastic. wipes, and quite surprisingly, Hundreds lots of millions and trillions of things. It is, any, and um, lots of net. Any tiaras? No. Uh, no. Any gold coins? No. Any ancient artifacts? No. no. But Only what we ourselves? No. Oh, how rude! We are but we have gems here picked up all of this rubbish just from this one spot. <laughs> Why? <Wife. laughs> That's a hundred views! <laughs> <laughs> We've taken a short bike journey, about four miles up the road, to the Baths of Kaifa. And we're reliably informed this is a park up on park for night, but most of the feedback says that it's full of mosquitoes, which I'm pretty certain looking at it, it would be. So we've just come on the bike, just have a quick look, see what it's all about. It's a great view from the back. And a derelict building next door. to report from the Baths of Kaifa. We've arrived at Zakaro and guess what? It's market day. So we're going to have a lovely look around the market, see what we can see, see if there's anything we want to buy.
a very good morning from Carlo Samico. We've spent the last two days doing not very much really on this beautiful park up, free park up, no services. There is a toilet block, but it's pretty disgusting and disused, no flushing water. It's a fantastic sunny morning again. It's going to be about 26, 27 degrees today. It's a beautifully sandy beach as well, no pebbles. It's the first one we've really come across. It's been a really, really great park up. We've loved being here. We haven't done very much, as I said. Some barbecues, watching the sunsets, superbly relaxing. So off we go to Olympia. So we'll catch up with you at the next park up. We're here today to do a baked bean challenge because uh, TD Bowles uh, of TD Bowles Plant Repair Limited uh, seems to think that he knows which bean tastes like which brand. So we've bought four brands of beans and what we're going to do, we're all going to taste it and we're going to write down the answers and see who's nearest and who isn't and etc. And the winner gets a quick ride on the City Cocoa because it's well worth it. So we've got Pines Baked Beans, we've got Hubbard's which is Sainsbury's very cheap brand. We've got Sainsbury's baked beans and we've got Branston baked beans, which are my favourite and I think I'd know which ones they were. Uh, here's the beans in the bowls. We don't know in the bowls <laughs> uh, as to which bean is which. So Deborah, yes. would you like to go first and try and get, do you know what's on the bottom of the bowl? I yes. do. You do? I so don't know which beans it is now, I've mixed them up. I We're going to do this going one first. by the texture. This one no, is, you need to taste it and then is the Branston. You think that's the Branston? So to Tony talk. thinks that's the Branston one. I think this is the Branston one. So boy. Tony, you taste that and tell me what you think. <gasps> definitely the Branston one. That is definitely the Branston one. I think this one here is the Heinz one. You think so? No, I think this might be Heinz because it's. Heinz beans have got very runny sauce. Heinz beans got a runny runny sauce. No, that's <laughs> Heinz. What's Heinz? That one there, that's Heinz. Is it? I'm not sorry. Mm, I'm not too sure about that one. Yeah? Mm. Oh, they're sweet. So, oh, they're not, mm, I don't think they're very nice, them ones. This one's not, it? Yeah, they're not as nice as them ones. Hold on. No. These are, these are they're Sainsbury's. I find them all before I decide. Sainsbury's, not cheap ones, but they're Sainsbury's from your brand. Okay, I think that is the Branston. Branston. So Me too, definitely. Mm. One of my favourite. Branston, Branston, Branston. Oh, Branston. So we all agree that that is the Branston. Yes. And we are all correct. Yay! And what are we going to do? Do these then. This, uh, this little lot here. Yeah, I was going to say they're Sainsbury's because I think they're the Sainsbury's other no, ones. They're and they're the, they're the Heinz. No, they're the mm. Heinz. I think they're the Heinz. I think they're the Oh, Heinz. we're split then. So we're all Do agreed. We're all agreed that this is the no. cheap Sainsbury's. No, these are the cheap Sainsbury's. No. Cheap Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's. Oh, yeah, right. Sainsbury's. Hubbard's. Yeah, these Hubbard's. That's it, Hubbard's. Yeah. These are the cheap ones. They're Hubbard's. Yeah. They're no. Heinz. No. We think that they're the same species. We Ready? think they're Hubbards. Oh, they're the Heinz! Heinz. Oh, well. Shay, I got that right. <laughs> you two have got that wrong. Me and Tony got that so right. They're Hubbards. They're the Hubbards. These, these are the and these are the Sainsbury's. They're Hubbards. They're Hubbards. They're Hubbards. Yeah. No, they're yes. the cheapest bean. They're the, oh, the they're cheapest the, bean. They're the cheapest bean. Cheap, the cheap beans. Cheap beans. Oh, just to let you know, guys, we got that absolutely spot on, me and Tony. No, because I got them too. Oh, I got it all right. So guys, we've just done the bean test and our findings are as follows. These beans are Sainsbury's, the Sainsbury's baked beans. beans and they are not the best beans to be fair. Um, our second least favourite least favorite are Heinz baked beans which um, out of these four taste third best. Surprisingly, our second favourite 
are these? The cheap ones from Sainsbury's. The cheap ones from Sainsbury's. The Hubbard's Food Store Baked Beans and Tomato Sauce. They're our second favourite, but by a long shot, the bestest beans here are Branston Bring out the Branston beans. They are our overall winner. Thoughts, Deborah? As supported by the Good Housekeeping Institute. Say no more. Welcome to the archaeological site of Olympia, the most important religious centres of antiquity. Its power and influence was felt throughout all of the Greek world. And in this place, Zeus, the father of Olympian gods, was worshipped. Well, Mr Bailey, I'm here. I'm praying to Zeus for your six numbers to come up as requested. Well, here's a surprising fact. The Olympic Games was established in 776 BC. And this is where the everlasting flame was lit from. So it's a really important part of the Olympic Games and still is today. The Philippion by Philip II, his victory in battle was something I can't pronounce in 338 BC. It was dedicated to Zeus. And once again, Mr. Bailey, I'm praying for your six numbers as requested to Zeus. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, Zeus. Interestingly enough, the round platter at the top looks very similar to the Olympian bowl where they light the fire. But here it is, the exclusive villa of Nero. It's probably where all his servants lived, stabling his horses and his chariot, his own private water well. I'm making this all up by now. I am the winner, Julie. No, I am the winner. <laughs> I am the winner, victorious. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of a history lesson here. This was built a long time ago and it was built with things like bricks and rocks and cement and stuff like that. I think the site's a little bit run down, if I'm really honest. <laughs> 